Good morning, happy, I guess it is Wednesday. I was gonna say Tuesday, but it's actually Wednesday. Um, we are here with volleyball coaches for our last episode of Coffee with Coach for the volleyball program. As our season has come pretty close to an end, we're just gonna hit on a couple things. So we have Coach Hannah Scanling and Coach Bailey Moore here with us. And we're gonna start with Bailey because she has not got to speak yet this year on the episode. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the seventh grade volleyball team, the program, and kind of where it finished because we haven't got to highlight those kids any this year so anything you can add to that so seventh grade was really small group probably the smallest seventh grade group i've ever had um but they were fierce they um worked really hard they improved so much even more than i thought they would over the season um worked really hard we didn't uh have the win loss record that we had last year for sure but um they had the fight um they didn't quit on me. We threw a lot of different things at them, um, and they learned on the fly. And I look forward to seeing them uh, transition into that junior high group next year. I think they'll bring a big part to it and definitely a work ethic to it. Right. So switch gears to junior high. Anybody can speak on this. They had their district tournament Saturday, um, come up short against Malvern at Malvern. Um, and so their season has come to an end, and some of those ninth graders may have the opportunity to move up a little bit. Um, I don't know if they're going to play. You know, just talk about the junior high bunch. And just, you know, where, where are we going from there with that group? Um, I, this year was probably our biggest learning year with junior high. Um, I think we expected a lot of them just because of the eighth grade group, how they went undefeated last year. Um, we struggled to put, put it all together all on the same night. And I think that's what really hurt us this season. But I do expect this um, eighth grade group moving in the ninth grade to do big things next year. My goodness, they were at the brink of it. I feel like all season oh, they so close. they worked so hard. They didn't give up. They cared so much. But um, I think probably their biggest lack was confidence. And I think mm -hmm. going forward, we're really going to try to work on instilling that in them because man, we had all the confidence in the world in them, and they they worked their tails off this, this season. This junior high conference was so competitive too. All the teams were so like head to head, matched, every single game. evenly matched. Yeah. Because never uh, knew what was going to happen. Who ended up winning it? Uh, Arkadelphia. Ar Arkadelphia, yeah. which I would have never picked that out of the group. It was Arkadelphia and Melbourne in the finals, yeah. and Arkadelphia pulled it out. And those that follow volleyball would have would have been surprised by that too. I think if they stayed and watched that. So last but not least, our senior high group. Um, as we know, Thursday will be the last volleyball game. It is going to be the last. It's home game. It's senior night. I've uh, got a couple seniors to talk about. So anything you want to say to your seniors? Um, of the program oh I don't know if we can talk about uh, it on camera yeah, it's always tough <laughs> so our seniors are kind of put them on the spot Lily, there, but. Lily and Emily um they've been a huge part of our volleyball program yes. since we've been here um they've been in the gym more than anybody they have tremendous work ethic they lead the team they, they lead by example and, and they're great gonna be group so of missed they're gonna be so missed I think they really stepped up to um We've had injuries with both of them. We, throughout, um, you know, Lily took a big hit last year um, with her ankle, and um, Emily's always got an injury to her ankle because the child can't stay on her feet. But they work through it all, and they do everything we ask of them. I mean, and, and plus um, everything we've thrown at them, we've thrown different coverages, and they've adjusted. And I feel like they've led their team. Um, and they're, they're the athletes that are easy to coach. First one's in the gym, last one's to leave, and no argument. They just do what they're asked and couldn't ask for better. Well, at this point, everybody kind of separates after a season really quick. Um, we go to basketball, and that's what's going to be next. And so what, what's next for volleyball uh, as far as off-season thoughts? Um, you're going to have quite a few back or not uh, going to basketball that are going to be around in the gym to kind of hone on those yeah, skills. Yeah, we'll, we'll have quite a few back. Um, and I'll, I'll be going to basketball, but I'll also be in the gym with volleyball. Coach B will be doing some off-season volleyball stuff, getting ready for softball. Um, so lots of speed and agility, um, so weight room. Say. A lot of weights and a lot of speed and agility. Yeah. We had some issues um, staying down, moving our feet, and I think we're gonna really work on some footwork and some um, just really focus on that speed and agility and the, the power jumps. And building, and, yeah. yeah. Just back to work. It's difficult because you, you started putting in work last year hard over the summer, just hours in the gym, and then after a Thursday night, it just it's over. Yeah. You know, no season ending tournament, which we've talked about. Um, so it is what it is, and we, we move on from there, but we do have good, big, big plans for next year. And uh, so, last chance to see the volleyball program in action will be Thursday night. 
It's uh, pink out, so wear pink. Yep. Pink it out, JV and varsity, and it'll start at 4.30. Yep. yep. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Go dogs. Go.